Here we go, there's number 65, going up past me now as well, Melder, with a thousand pound winner from Calgary, Howard Force, Canarelli Motor. If he was off, well, he won the thousand pound off 20, so he was already one of the back markers then. But really, and driven today by, by Mark Evans, another horse with stacks of speed is Rebus. It's just whether Mark can keep that speed to the right time in the race. You're off the inside of go, Mark. Inside of go. So we've got six of our seven runners on the track. Four to one, Dernal Duke. Five to one, Lakeside Pan. And eight to one, Camden Callum. So. Two of the back markers joint favourites, so Wayne, if you can take them down to the start, please. Where we've got... And again, Infinity takes the form this time last year. He finished second in the Penny Bond Open at the first Wednesday in August at Infinity. Obviously today, a bit of great softened ground. As I thought, he has attracted money in the ring at Infinity. Being driven for the first time by that very experienced ex-champion driver, Wayne Knox. Wayne, at one time a, a professional jump jockey, and I think he was champion jockey on the Isle of Wight, I think as well, was Wayne, or somewhere, and he went to drive right over this, moving around Rebus and Dernal Duke, best of the fleet, takes his position. Infinity, Camden Callum and Chinatown Colt, and at the back there is... Next side power. The art of this going off 50 yards is to try and gauge the distance properly. Because obviously we don't, there's no, only the markers on the side of the course to help Wayne. He's going to do it all by eyesight, getting it right. He doesn't want to be early because the stewards will put him out. So the start cars pick them up. The green light's flashing in front, Rebus. And Dernal Duke. We watch the flag man. Go! And away they go. Dernal Duke made a mistake at the start. So Rebus is the clear leader. He's got about four lengths clear of best of the fleet. Infinity's got a dream run up the inside round the river bend. Then on the outside is Captain Callan. Chinatown Colt make, take it a hold. And he's with them is, is Wayne Elder and Lakeside Pan. Well, he's with the bunch, but he's nowhere near Rebus, who's gone off like a scalded cat up the back straight. It's Rebus, making every post a winning post. He must be about eight lengths clear of best of the fleet. Infinity's in third. Then I can see Camden Callan on the inside of Chinatown Colt. Then we've got Lakeside Pan, and Dernal Duke is now pacing very well at the back. But swinging out of the back straight already is Mark Evans and Rebus. I hope he doesn't think this is a six furlong dash because he is really hurried away in front. In front is Rebus. He must be ten lengths clear now of best of the fleet. Then we've got Camden Callum. Infinity. I think Infinity may have come off his legs and he should be galloping. Here is his leg by Pan with a terrific run. Look at this class horse from a 50 yard handicap, ladies and gentlemen. He's caught the pack and now he will chase Rebus. And I'll tell you what, he will not be far off him in another lap. In front is Rebus, then comes Lakeside Pan. Kiki Chinatown Colt moves to the outside. Then we've got up the inner is best of the fleet. Infinity's pacing again now. And they're halfway up the back straight. Rebus, but he is coming, Mark. The class horse is getting in. It's Lakeside Pan in second place. I can see Infinity making ground on the outside. They go to the end of the back straight. In front is still Rebus who leads by a length, but Lakeside Pan walks by him. Look at this horse, he has not seen yet. It's Lakeside Pan who leads, and they come onto the home straight. On the outside, Chinatown Colt makes a run, but I think this could be all over by the shouting. It's Lakeside Pan, he's going away from them, ladies and gentlemen. This is the performance we wanted to see. What a performance, Wade. Well done with Lakeside Pan. Second best of the fleet, third Chinatown Colt, fourth Rebus and in the final. But there's only one winner there. 
Right, glad I was here today to see that. It's been a few years since we've had a class horse come off 50 yards and catch them. But that one really did. I think that could be the fastest time of the day of 50 yard handicap. They're asking me what was second. I could hardly see that far back. The winner, owned by Mr. John Elder of Blight McKelly, trained and driven by his son Wayne. Number 65, Lakeside Park. Second, number 61, Best of the Fleet, owned by the Lewis family of Welshpool. And third, number 62, Chinatown Colt, owned by Mr. Brian Jones trained and driven by Debbie Hitchcock and fourth and in the final number 60 Rebus so Rebus you're in the final a nice round of applause I'd like you to give to Lakeside Pan as he comes back down here in front of you that was a class performance that you saw this afternoon well done Wayne well done the Lakeside Pan tremendous way Well done, John. I can see the over here. So we go on now to the second heat. I'm sorry if I get any more races like that. My voice will definitely go before the end of the day. Some will say that will never happen, but it could well. Number 66, that's the way I like it. Off go on his own. 68, Aberdeen Playboy. 